very important for us to have channels that are truly pan-African. So I think it's a great uh, move and I hope there will be many more pan-African channels, channels that we can also watch from other countries because that's part of integration, that's part of sharing our culture, that's part of understanding our countries and knowing what's going on in one part of the continent and another. Looking, for instance, at the role of the media and the importance of having a free press, for instance, and now um, some countries which don't even have that have, will have access to um, content which um, some might say have been really, really looked into, into depth by journalists and reporters who are really professional. What message do you think that would send to those countries? Well, I think it's, it's very important to have free press, but it's also very important to have responsible press. Because media, I, 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 I used to say when I was still here and sometimes me meeting with the editors and all that, I would say, you know, it's very important for media to be credible and to criticize because and criticize where things are going wrong and where things aren't going wrong to also say things are going right because if if i know that when you criticize me it means there's really something wrong then i sit up and i look at what you are saying and i follow it up but if I know that every day you criticize, whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, eventually I don't listen. But also professional journalists who investigate things. Because I find that in sometimes investigative journalism is going down. Mm. People write a story, when you challenge them, they didn't research it. They just had something and they went and wrote. So I think it's important for journalists to be professional, to investigate, um, but it's very important to have a free press because then it's part of a democratic society, it's part of a free society, and it's part of a... Um, um, it improves the festival of ideas yeah. in society. Um, so I think it's, 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 it's great and it should be something that every country should have, a free press. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you were when the news broke or where you saw some of these visuals coming through from South Africa that um, here are Africans being attacked by fellow Africans. Well, when I saw that for the first time, I actually called the premier of KwaZulu Natal, Senzo Mkulu, and he took my call. I said, hey, have you seen what is going on? And please do something about it. Let it be stopped. And I think he tried. And then, but of course it continued. I called the president, I called because it was just such a difficult moment. It was just difficult to, to, just, to just look at af other Africans that you are with. And, and they look at you and you feel like you need a hole to sink in. Because here you are amongst colleagues from all over Africa and you are the head of the institution and the country you hail from is doing this. But what I, I, th I think what is important and we should make sure that those mechanisms remain alive when the communities and other people started showing that this is not 
something that the majority of South Africans want. I think that was, that was good, not to leave it just to the government and the police, yeah. but to show that as South Africans, we do not want this kind of thing. We are ashamed of it, we are embarrassed, we want it to stop.